All right, we're with uh, Dr. Jack Sarafati, and we are discussing some of the latest advancements and developments in uh, propulsion physics. And what I'm particularly interested in is what happened at the meeting down at a few weeks ago. So, Jack, if you could fill us in on what went down for what you can tell us, uh, that would be great. Well, uh, basically, um, it was a meeting that involved a representative from the uh, military, uh, the Pentagon, and um, some high-level high uh, 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 industrial technology person, who I can't obviously mention names, can't mention names. and uh, some highly placed political people from Gordon Novel's uh, uh, state of Louisiana. Um, and a uh, person, actually a woman who was in the Reagan White House, seeing possibilities where to go to the next step to um, develop what was uh, the old Nazi UFO technology. Can you, can you elaborate on any of this, the technological specifics of, of what's going on here? Have there actually been breakthroughs made, uh, serious technological breakthroughs that might lead to well, I got to be very careful what I say about I that for obvious understand. reasons. But let's put it this way: uh, the data of from UFOs that we see flying in the skies shows that the technology is real. Uh, the question is, where did this technology come from? Is it uh, terrestrial technology coming from the Nazi projects in World War II that have been further developed in the last 50, 60 years? Uh, that's one possibility. Is it actually uh, extraterrestrial? that's been reverse engineered along the uh, scenario of Philip J. Corso. I mean, that's another possibility. And uh, I, at this point, am not sure. Was that discussed at all at the meeting? Uh, the, the no, origins, because the everybody, of... people are all familiar with that. The people at the meeting are old hands at, at right, that right. sort of thing. So it's not explicitly. So this is more nuts and bolts financing. This is more nuts and bolts financing way to go to the next step. OK, so engineeringly, uh, where are we? How close, how close do you think, given what the information that you were presented with and what, what other people were submitting, um, well, is this going to take any radical breakthroughs in, in new physics, or is this existing off-the-shelf technology? No, uh, this, has to, this particular project, if it works, will be existing off-the-shelf technology. So it's electromagnetic. It's electromagnetic. Would it be, could you call it electrogravitic? Is that a misnomer, or is that... I, no, it, it's it, generally speaking, it's electrogravitic. Yeah, it is electrogravitic. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Uh, now, I personally, I'm not saying I know it's going to work. I don't know if it's going to work. It involves some uh, classified material that I have personally have not had a chance to look at in detail, uh, and it involves a certain person that we're not sure whether he will be involved in this aspect of the project or not because there are issues involving intellectual property and assigning of rights and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. it's still very much uh, up in the air. Right. Okay, so um, did any, were there any reasons to believe that there are fundamental obstacles in the way of developing such technology. Well, I mean, okay, this is a very strange situation we're, we're in because uh, according to certain very good uh, intelligence sources I have, uh, we already have the technology. We're actually flying the technology out of uh, bases in America. I'm not going to say where. Right. So uh, that's one scenario. And you, and you think those are reliable sources? Well, one of my sources seems to be pretty reliable. Uh, I can't say more than that. Right. And uh, so that would mean we actually have the technology already. Uh, on the other hand, maybe that is a disinformation story. I mean, what we're talking now about intelligence and uh, disinformation, misinformation, and it's very hard to know what is real, okay? Now, the technology of this particular project is allegedly taken from some existing uh, technologies. Mm -hmm. And it's uh, more like replicating certain claims that would be involved here. Uh, the, the technology that of the meeting I attended is not my technology. It's not my approach at all. My approach is based on something totally different, the dark energy approach, 
seen in the recent discoveries in cosmology. This is not that. So I'm not really expert in um, the approach of the electrogravitic, let's call it the electromagnetic stress gravitic approach mm -hmm. that's being suggested at the meeting at this defense contract. Also, let's not mention the name defense contract. It's a Southern California defense contract. Mm -hmm. Uh, and so I'm just flowing with the going with the flow here to see what happens because I, there are some scientists involved in the project whose opinion I respect, and I'll just let's see you know let's try it. It's, it's, a, it's a matter of a twenty million dollars to a hundred million dollars, so we'll see what happens. Have there have there been any kind of technological tests of this technology that you're aware of? That would yeah, well, that there would, have been small small uh, scale small scale. Tests of the particular scientists. Well, I'm not you know, sure. Toy if model, know. toy model. Toy approaches. model. There have been some toy model things that are kind of suggestive. It is the big issue is whether you can scale it up so that it becomes, you know, can you float a 